Before meeting with North Korea's Kim Jong-un, 35, President Donald Trump felt he enjoyed a very special relationship with the dictator. But, historically, what impact has a personal relationship between foreign leaders with opposing ideologies and the voluntary pursuit of peace really have? Leaders of democracies seem to place significant value on this. Some benefit may exist, but only when a common interest is shared. Bearing this out most notably was British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain who clearly believed his personal relationship with Germany's Adolf Hitler in September 1938 had secured peace for our time. He was wrong, a year later World War II erupted. erupted.Ian signing the Paris Peace Accords in January, 1973, National Security Advisor Henry Kissinger believed his cordial relationship with North Vietnamese negotiator Le Duc Tho achieved peace for Vietnam. He too proved wrong. In April, 1975, South Vietnam fell after the North invaded. In 2012, President Barack Obama named then Turkish Prime Minister, now President, Recep Tayyip Erdogan as a best buddy. Obama undoubtedly left office still clinging to this belief, ignoring the tsunami of Erdogan triggered anti Americanism that swept over Turkey during that time. This was all part of Erdogan's agenda to undermine support for democracy, dismantling it at home to direct Turkey's return to the days of the Ottoman Empire's caliphate. Thus, Obama's personal relationship had no positive impact. Obama's Secretary of State, John Kerry, firmly believed a close personal relationship with Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif would help generate a nuclear deal with Tehran. In 2009, Zarif attended the wedding of Carrie's daughter to an Iranian-American physician whose best man was Zarif's son. Carrie credited that relationship, in January, 2016, with generating the release of 10 U.S. sailors captured after their disabled boat drifted into Iranian territorial waters. While the good news was the personal relationship contributed to reaching a nuclear agreement, the bad news was it was a one-way friendship, earning Iran a heavily one-sided deal in its favor. The above represented situations in which ideologically opposed leaders shared no common ground.